everybody how's it going Chris here Wicked Digger thank you for tuning in today I'm at my brand new permission uh, this is an old field the house that uh, is across the street that belongs to the field is the oldest house in town um, I've been here for literally three minutes just started swinging got my first target in the ground here I'm not sure what it is but it sure looks like a coin could be a button um, it was coming up in like the upper 50s which is kind of weird for a coin um, but let's turn you around and see what it is here there it is do you see it sure looks like a coin um this is literally the first target first hole that i dug it's definitely an old copper i don't see any details on it right now at all but i can't even, i hope this is not a curse of the first hole <laughs> but uh that's a good sign that there's some good targets here wow first hole first signal a copper unbelievable hopefully uh it'll dry up a little bit and uh, we can clean it up a little to at least get an id off of it and uh, we'll let you know Well, this is my second target and I had to unfold it. You can see where it's kind of purplish and discolored there, but this is a toe tap. Excellent. Literally second hole, second target. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be junk that I'm digging in here because there always is, but two holes, two good targets. That's pretty incredible and a great sign. Um, it's a very big field. Another thing that I am looking for, and it's going to be somewhere out here roughly maybe, um, is a ring that was lost by the homeowner um, a class ring from high school and I would absolutely love to be able to find that ring out here and return it to them so um, hopefully we do and uh, in the meantime we're gonna keep digging and swinging and uh, saving history well, we got one of these which uh, if anyone's dug farm fields dig plenty of these little blades here so all right first piece of iron it didn't sound very good it definitely sounded like iron um, and it wasn't very deep, so it sounded huge. I thought maybe it was going to be a can, but you never know what's in these fields, so I like to dig it all. All right. I have a really good tone right here. So we're going to dig this one live. It's coming up uh, 74 and bouncing up to the 80s. Sounds really good. The ground is hard. It's dry. It's pretty awful, actually. But once you pop that plug, it's not too bad, of course. All right, see what we got here. Oh, there it is. It's a coin. Oh, it's just the Lincoln Memorial. Old 77. All right, well, we'll take it. We'll keep moving along. Get another live one in here. Right here, I have a screaming... 91, 92. Could be a modern quarter. Could be a can or a piece of junk. But it could be silver. Let's find out. Doesn't seem very deep either, but doesn't have to be deep. Doesn't have to be deep to be old or awesome. Where are you? What is it? Get the little hand trowel in here. Seems it's right over here somewhere. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna hit whatever it is in case it is something epic. Oh, I see something. Yeah. And it's not, it doesn't wanna come out. I don't know what it is. A buckle? Looks like it's modern type of buckle or something. So be a little more rough with it yeah it's a modern buckle it might be from a dog leash all right there it is yeah uh no that's horse tack stuff yeah all right i got a whole part of a horse tack uh harness here all right we just got this big piece of melted lead um I don't know how old it is. I don't know if it is old. Uh, what I've been told about 
this uh, land here is that this was um, a encampment for Civil War training. So it's possible that this was used for, you know, making musket balls or ammunition or who knows anything else, um, if it's even that old. But uh, it's not very whitish. I mean, it kind of is inside. So I guess it could be. But for now, we're going to throw it in the pouch and keep saving history. Well, I just picked up this little piece of something. Definitely looks to have some age to it. Looks like it might have been a cap to something. It's a little hole here. Or maybe it was uh, secured in place. I don't really know, but all right, it's something. Check out this big hook I just found, huh? Look at that thing. I don't know if this is for hay or what it is. If anybody has any idea what this hook was, uh, you know, possibly used for, let me know. Give me a, show me out a uh, comment below and uh, tell me what you think. That's cool. I like finding uh, big iron tools like that. Very neat. Let's right, keep going. All right, we got a heavy hitter right here. 80s reaching 90s sounds uh really solid and good let's find out if it's trash or treasure see anything yet oh i see something there is that it what is that it's definitely the target this thing's big but it's an old uh knob of some sort it's all ridged right here Oh, sorry, I'm out of the camera. I didn't realize. Huh. All right. Well, it's not a coin or a uh, known relic that I know of, but uh, I'll throw it in the bag. It's something. All right. Just pulled out this little hinge. Hopefully, it belonged to uh, you know, a nice box full of coins somewhere that's been crushed and spilled and spread out here everywhere. We're going to find tons of silver, Spanish cobs. Woo! All right, we got something in this clump here. I don't know if it's a coin or if it's a button. Oh, it's a button. And that looks like an old button. Wow. I'd like to see if there's anything on it. I don't believe so. Look at that thing. That is an old button. That, I think, is 1700s all day long. Wow. It's, like, super brittle. Going to have to be very careful with it. If I want to keep it intact. Glad the shank is on it still. And I'm very happy to have that button. That is beautiful. Just flip the plug. Got a good signal. Flip the plug and... This popped out just like this. Looks like a pretty cool draw pull. That's interesting. Especially being way out where I am. So I don't know the exact acreage of this field. But I'm way out here from where I was. I've just been meandering around. I'm not gridding or doing anything like that. I'm searching around to see what I can find. So this field goes all the way out to the tree line here it swoops back around this tree line and then comes back around again it comes back this way way out where that tree line is it goes to the right and it's a very very large area out there i mean if i had to guess i'd say it's 60 to 80 acres of farm field so um, this is very far out here away from any current houses which are a lot of the houses around here are very old anyhow so um that's very interesting and i'll take it love a relic like that all right we got something that looks pretty cool i haven't looked at it yet i went with my pin pointer and this came out of the ground i have no idea what it is it says something on it which is always a good thing It's a tag of some sort. It looks almost heart-shaped. It definitely says E.L. Witherell. And it says 
feed and something with the number 14. So I guess this was probably an animal tag. Never seen one quite like that before, but that is sweet. I'll have to research that name and see if it uh, belonged to, you know, the original owners here or, you know, an owner shortly after or somebody nearby. That's very interesting. I'll try to clean it up a little better. See if we can find out exactly what it says, but uh, that is a sweet relic and I'm happy to take that. I do wish this was whole, but it's always fun to find pieces. That right there is pieces to an old chrono bell. I believe it's a uh, tomback material. It's very shiny. Right. Found three pieces in the hole. Nothing else in there, but we'll take it. I just got a little coin, and I'm not sure what it is yet. I don't know if it's old or modern. It was like, it's green. About penny size. It's a Lincoln. Oh, man. It's a Lincoln. It's a weedy, at least. I see the one cent there. All right. Wow. It seemed just odd-shaped and... I can't get a date off of it yet, but all right, it's a wheat scent. Guess we'll take it. Let's hope it for an Indian. Well, it's been a while, lots of trash, but I have an unbelievable sounding target right here. Doesn't mean it's going to be good, of course, as always. Could be trash or treasure, but man, it sounds good, and I sure hope that some little piece of treasure. But, if not, well, let's keep on keeping on. Doesn't sound like it's big, but you never know. Let's see. That's not a rock. Maybe that is the target. And it seems to be just a big pipe. Yeah, I think it's just a big old pipe. Let's see, we'll grab the big shovel and try to get it out of there. Man, that thing was loud. Come on, now I can understand why. Sorry for the shaking. Wow, look at that. Well, that's got to be from an old uh, house that was here, I would assume. It's good copper scrap, that's for sure, though. All right, catch you on the next one. Well, there it is, not too bad for a couple of hours. Uh, this was that first copper. And I almost think I see a bus there, but I'm not too sure. Um, gonna have to try to clean it up a little bit very carefully to see if I can at least get an idea off of it. There's the wheat scent. There's that old uh, button, which I definitely believe is 1700s. The shank is partially broken there. Um, drawer pull, piece of the chrono bell, toe tap, and this has the name of E.L. Witherell, and it says feed and livery. So. Eh, hopefully I'll be able to research that and see what it is. There is uh, all the trash that I dug. There is tons and tons of trash. This bag is so heavy right now. There's a couple of golf balls in there. Um, but we had some fun. We saved some history. And uh, we'll be back for sure. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate it. See you soon.